In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the waffle stitch. This is what it looks like and it is quite stretchy as you can see. And you can use this stitch to make a baby blanket or a throw or a scarf. But today I'm going to make a washcloth similar to this using a different color. I'm going to use a 3.5 millimeter hook and I believe in US size it's E4 and I'll be using cotton yarn. It's 100% cotton which is best for a washcloth. We'll begin with a slip knot and we'll chain 29. But if you wanted to make a bigger size or a blanket you can chain any number um, that you can divide by 3 so in this case it's 27 and plus 2 you always need to add 2 to that number so let's chain 29 This is our chain of 27 and now two more, two extra chains, 28, 29 and now we need to skip the first two chains and insert the hook into the third chain. So a double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So yarn over and insert your hook into the third chain from the hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over again, pull through the last two loops on the hook. This is one double crochet. And now we continue with double crochets in each chain. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. And continue working double crochets in each chain, and I'll see you at the end of this row. So now we are at the end of the chain and this is the last double crochet. So it should be total 27 double crochets. And now we chain two and turn. And the first double crochet goes into the very first stitch, one double crochet, then we are going to work around the next stitch, so it, not into the next stitch but around that double crochet from the previous row and we'll work a double crochet around that stitch so it's called front past double crochet into the next two stitches we work regular double crochets into each stitch so that's one double crochet just a normal double crochet and into the next one And the next one's gonna be a front post double crochet again. So we work around into the gap in between the stitches around that post. And the next two are going to be regular double crochets again into the stitches. So that's number one. And the second double crochet on top 
of the other stitch too. Now we can be going to repeat this pattern one front past double crochet and two regular double crochets all the way until the end of this row. Now we are at the end of the row and this is the last front post double crochet and the very last stitch is going to be a regular double crochet. Now chain two again, turn, and again the very first stitch is double crochet into the first stitch. And another double crochet into the next stitch. And then we'll work front post double crochets into the next two stitches or around the next two stitches. So that's number one. And that's number two. Now a regular double crochet again into the stitch and again two front post double crochets. So we're going to repeat this pattern until the end of this row. One regular double crochet into the stitch and two front post double crochets. So let's continue with this pattern and I'll meet you at the end of this row. So now we're almost at the end and this is our last double crochet and into the last stage a regular double crochet again. chain two and turn and you can see the little waffle pattern appearing already and that's the other side and now we're going to just repeat the last two rows row number two and row number three after that until you reach the desired size So here I've done 22 rows and we can cut the yarn now and finish off. So now we just need to weave in the ends. I'm going to use a yarn needle. And we just need to hide this end inside of the stitches by going inside the, the stitches along the edge here and change direction and the best way is just to go right inside the stitches along this row and just um, do it a couple of times. And make sure that you don't pull too tight. And one more time, right inside the stitches. And that should be enough. And just stretch that corner in every direction. And cut the rest of the yarn. And that's it. This was the waffle stitch. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.